It's me, Shani, and welcome, welcome, welcome to the channel. So, today's video is going to be a bit different than how we usually do things. Like I mentioned before, we're typically role plays, but today we're just going to kind of talk about stuff I like. I did put up a little poll in the community tab and asked your permission first, so thank you. Um, I know this probably won't do as well as my role plays, but I am the kind of person who, when they like something, just becomes so obsessed with it that I just want to talk about it nonstop. And it's all I think about. So I sometimes just want to make videos of stuff that I enjoy. And while I do love doing the cosplays and role plays, sometimes it's fun to just be myself and, uh, you know, just talk. So uh, this is going to be more of a session. And uh, for those of you who watch, thank you from the bottom of my heart for uh, just letting me be myself and still enjoy the content. Also, this is the second time I'm filming this. The first time I poured my heart and soul into it <laughs> and the microphone apparently died. So, take Deja vu. For me, not you. So, uh, let's get started. Uh, I just have a bunch of stuff I like surrounding me. There was no real plan for this video. I thought, I thought, I thought, I thought, I thought, I thought, I thought. I would just look around and grab something I like and start talking about it and see where it takes us. So, First things first, I do know where I'm going to start. You may have noticed by now that my favorite color is pink and light blue. But you don't see light blue that often around here because pink has kind of become my aesthetic. Down to my nails. But, um, this actually all started because growing up, my favorite go-to drink is, or was, and still is, strawberry milk. And, um, recently it's become a bit of a, like, trendy fad, and there's actually stores and stuff that sell, like, strawberry milk-themed things, which has been, like, really cool for me considering I've liked it since I was little. And now it's become like a running joke where if someone sees something strawberry milk themed, they buy it for me. <laughs> so, first things first. This is what strawberry milk looks like. A little bit of it now, breathe it. I drink like one of these a day, which probably isn't good for I started my strawberry milk craze when um, they came out with the Hershey Concentrated Strawberry Syrup. But um, since then I found real, like authentic strawberry milk, which is like strawberries pureed and then like you mix it with milk, but I don't have time to make that all the time because I don't have time to always concentrate strawberries into a puree. So I will settle for the Hershey Syrup. When I don't have time. It's really good. Highly recommend. I wonder what bubbles would sound like. 
Be too loud or be relaxing. These kind of videos are fun for me because, uh, I don't know, I feel like you guys always just see me with like a mask or a character on so you don't actually like know me. So this is you getting to figure out who I am. I am a lot to handle. <laughs> I'm very scatterbrained. And, um, I don't know, I like to think I'm a very happy individual. Uh, I used to be more outgoing than I am now. Uh, it's due to stuff. Now I'm just a little bit more introverted. Unless I know you really well, then I'm outgoing. I'm showing you that because... Let me grab it here. You may have seen this in my girlfriend videos or any video I show my phone, but... Strawberry milk themed cake. even comes with a little straw. I've had this case for a while. You can see it's kind of falling apart. I used to have a pop socket that was filled with like water and like little things that floated and it was very asmr -y to like spin it around you watch it like trickle down but it was too big and it fell off so now I have this little pink one So, like I said, it's now like a trend to find things with strawberry milk on them. So I have some things here I want to show you. First things first, I found this cute little dress with strawberry milk cartons all over it. If you want to see what it looks like, I'll try and remember to insert a picture here. It's very soft. Now this isn't the only strawberry milk item of clothing. also own this it's a little strawberry rope little overalls found this set at the top at topic insert picture of what it looks like here super cute Here are my strawberry milk items. 
Lumi Star ASMR. I'm sure you guys have heard of her. My best friend. She bought me this. Strawberry milk washing machine. I know what that you're like washing machine like, but it opens up your you put your beauty blenders in there. If you don't know what a beauty blender is, it's a sponge that you use to apply your makeup to your face. So when you're done with it, you fill this little thing with water. Stick your little sponge inside. Close the lid. And then you can We've been talking about strawberry milk for a while, so we should probably move on. I like dad jokes. Maybe I'll cut that one out. <laughs> so, our next little topic here that I wanted to talk to you you all may have kind of figured this out already, but, uh, I really, really like Spider-Man. Now, I own a ton, a ton of Spider-Man stuff. I could just do a whole video talking about my Spider-Man stuff, but we'll just do a couple. These are things that people sent me. I love when you guys send me things, even if it's just mail. I love getting letters to my P.O. box. But, um, these were two things someone sent me. Let me show you. This first one here I keep directly behind me on my shelf when I stream. So you may have seen it if you've seen me stream. It is the Spider-Man meme. It's like a pop thing the Spider-Man's pointing at each other. Sorry for the glare. If you haven't seen it, but I'm sure by now you've all seen it. Fun fact about me, I absolutely Do it because you all like it and I love you. I love you all so much. <laughs> but uh, nails on a chalkboard doesn't bother me. Tapping triggers bother me. Um, styrofoam and cotton balls. Hate them. Can't look at them, can't touch them, can't feel them. Don't have anything to do with them. I hate styrofoam. I hate cotton balls. Tapping triggers. sent me, and I think it's a rare one, which is really cool. But another little spider. And I keep this on my shelf, too. I 
I love that outfit. It's a really good one. I know a lot of you are going to ask because everyone always does. Shannon, who's your favorite Spider-Man? And I'll give you the TLDR version. So, um, the first Spider-Man movies are obviously the best. They were just well written, they were well directed, well produced, well edited, etc. But, um, Tobey Maguire isn't my favorite Spider-Man. Nothing against him, I'm sure he's lovely. Um, I just thought he was a little too awkward. He was a really good Peter Parker, but just a little too awkward as Spider-Man. Andrew Garfield is cute, but uh, his, uh, he was too cool, too suave to be Peter Parker. He was a really good Spider-Man. But I thought he was just too cool to be Peter Parker. Also, his movies weren't that good. Not him. He was really good at acting. But they just didn't do a good job on the scripts for those movies. And then Tom Holland is all around, I think, a really good cast for Spider-Man. He's the perfect mix of, like, awkward and witty for Peter Parker and Spider-Man. But the best Spider-Man movie is Into the Spider-Man. With Miles Morales and uh, Spider Man 2 with Taka. By the way, you guys should totally comment below stuff you're interested in. I had the idea for this video because uh, I was watching, I believe it was Jack Septic. I love watching like people play video games, whether on YouTube or Twitch, and uh, he was playing Bloodborne again, even though, you know, it's not really Bloodborne time anymore, it's Elden Ring time. And he was just like lighting up and like talking about how much he likes Bloodborne and how interested in it he is and giving all these cool little facts that I didn't know about it. And just listening to somebody speak about something they like. It was just, it's really exciting, and it was just like an endorphin boost, and it made me really happy to see somebody else happy about something they liked. So I thought I could make an ASMR video like that, and I'd love to hear more about what you guys like, and what you're passionate about, and what interests you, because seeing you happy makes me happy, and seeing you excited about something makes me excited about something. So, let's go. Comment below the stuff that you like. I'd love to hear. Alright, let's move on to our next category. <laughs> okay, so this next one is going to probably not be everybody's favorite because not everyone likes the same taste in music, but it's a big thing in my life. So I'm going to talk to you about it. One second. Okay, I'm back. Again, before I do my next little I just want to take a second to apologize again if this video isn't very A, S, M, R enough for some people. It is a little bit more of a like whispering, soft speaking, rambling type of video, but I'm enjoying it and I hope you guys are too. Sometimes it's fun to just let loose and talk about so thank you for supporting me, but, alright. This next topic is my favorite band. Now, if you're not into K-pop, you might not have heard of them. I've only recently gotten into K-pop, but, um, it's BTS. They are the world's biggest boy band right now, so probably have heard of them. Uh, if you don't speak other languages, or you only speak like English. 
You may know their songs like Butter or Dynamite or Permission to Dance. Those are the big ones right now. But uh, I've always like heard of them and like knew of them and like kind of liked them when they came out. But at the time I was more into like uh, Christian rock music and country music and stuff like that. So I didn't really listen to them. But um, during COVID and like me being quarantined, I somehow just started listening to them more and then I found out that they're, uh, they have a show that they do for their fans called Run BTS and it's like a variety show and it's silly and funny and I like binged a lot of that when I was stuck at home and then I just thought that they were funny and stuff like that and I liked them and I got more into their music and now I'm a huge fan and when you're a fan of BTS, you're called an army. So I would be an army. And uh, I have a like, my, everyone who comes over to my house and like sees my office calls it my BTS shrine. I promise you it's not a shrine. And it is not as creepy as it sounds. <laughs> and it's not that much stuff. There's a lot of people who have way more stuff than I do. I just have a little shelf. It's literally one shelf of like things. And it's right here. And it's literally behind you. You can't see because you're a camera in the middle of my room. But it's literally like right behind you. And um, I just grabbed a couple things here that I'm going to show you. But yeah, so um, let's get started. So BTS has seven members and um, they are one of the biggest bands, or if, if not like the biggest boy band right now. And uh, I'm really excited because when I found them, and like I said, it was during COVID and I was stuck at home and like, you know, depressed. And um, I don't know, their show just gave me a lot of comfort. And I, I always thought that, um, oh, I'm not going to get to see them at concert. You know, COVID is going to last forever. I'm never going to get to see them. I found them too late. And then they ended up having a concert in California that I found out about really late. And so I didn't get tickets. And I was like sad. I was really sad. I like cried for like a day. And um, thought, when are they going to come back? I'm not going to get to see them. And uh, then when I was planning for my birthday, which by the way, my birthday is coming up. It's in April. I was planning for my birthday, and it's a big birthday this year, so I was like, what am I going to do for my birthday? And literally that same day, they posted that they were doing concerts in Las Vegas. And the last concert of the tour is on my actual birthday. And so I waited in a queue, and your girl got tickets. So I'm going to be seeing BTS on my birthday, and I'm really close. I'm not going to say seated because, you know, people on the internet can be weird, but I'm really close, so I'm very excited. And, yeah, so, anyway, this is a light stick. If you're not into K-pop, you might not know what a light stick is. Most K-pop bands have a light stick. For example, Lumi Star ASMR likes Blackpink, and their light stick looks like a hammer. This is BTS's light stick. It's just like a circle on a, on a stick. And um, basically, when you go to a concert, you bring these and it like strobes and lights up and colors and stuff um, with the certain songs. Like they program it and it's like Bluetooth. And so like everyone's all light up the same and do stuff. It's like a cool light show. And it also works with music videos online too so you can use it at but, uh, it doesn't come with these. I bought these separately. But they're little charms. And you can't really see, but there's two symbols. B 
BTS's symbol, and it looks kind of like this. And then there's the ARMY symbol, which is the fan base, and it looks like this. So, I'm really excited to get to use this for the first time at the concert. And my little charms are just ARMY. And the BTS A little light stick And then this says Jimin 1013 Which is just his birthday If you have a favorite member Which I just like them all I love the whole band But if you have a favorite member They call that your bias So my bias would be Jimin Which is the one on here But I do like I did show these briefly in my, like, chaotic and fast and aggressive trigger video But I'll just really quick show you the members of the band I didn't buy these separately, though everyone does like to collect the photo cards These came with my light stick But this is Namjoon He's the leader of the group They have, like, leaders or, like, heads of the band This is Jin. This is Sugar. Jo. Jimin. This is the one that's name is on my light stick. This is Tay. a whole BTS fan chant that they do in like the concerts do which I did in Manny Tingle's BTS missing member video which was funny and um, it's just like the, all of their names and then you say BTS so like Kim Namjoon, Kim Sukjin Min Yoongi Dong Seok Park Jimin, Kim Young, Jung Jung I'm always afraid I'm going to mess up their names, so I had to think about it for a second I'm not really good at speaking Korean, I try, but I try And then, this is, I have a few of their albums, but here's just one of them, this is the Butter album I just thought he'd make some good triggers It's funny, because I was watching their run BTS show today and I'm like, uh, there's like a, there's like 200 episodes, dude. But I'm on like episode 98 or something. And um, they actually did ASMR in it, which was really cool. Right before I did this, so I thought that was funny. My last little BTS merch I'll show and then we'll move on is Jimmy. They have their BT21 characters, which are like little animated characters they've made for themselves, little drawings. And this one's Jimin, so he drew a little dog named Jimmy. I don't know if it makes any Last category for the video. Let's just talk about some anime. I'd make it a little longer, but we're already getting pretty deep into this video. That's what she said. So, um, basically, I just wanted to kind of talk about animes I like. I could probably do a whole separate video just talking about animes I like. Love anime. My favorite.
favorite anime currently is Food Wars. If you don't know it, it can be a little raunchy, so warning. But it's just so funny and so cute. And growing up, I loved watching cooking shows, even though I can't cook at all. But I loved, loved watching cooking shows. And this is an anime, which I love, and a cooking show, which I love. TLDR, it's just basically about students at a cooking school cooking. It's really good. I don't normally favor main characters, but in like the last three animes I watched, my favorite character has been the main character. So, this is Soma. He's my favorite. He's the main character. I got this at Yumacon, which is an anime convention here. One of my favorite movies of all time is Spirited Away, which is a Studio Ghibli film, if you don't know what it is. I own a ton of Spirited Away stuff, but here's just one of them. This is No Face. I do want a tattoo of him one day, too. I actually have a new Spirited Away video planned, like this month, and I did do a Yubaba video, which is Spirited Away. See that? Highly recommend. He's so cute. If you like anime movies, I also recommend your name. But fair warning, you might cry your eyes out. It's super good. If you like like romantic movies, which I do. I know a little cliche, but I love them. And uh, I just highly recommend. It gives me notebook vibes. Watch your name. You won't regret it. My other anime I really like, it's not my favorite anymore. I kind of think it's going a little bit downhill, but I still like it. It's My Hero Academia. You guys have seen me do Toga role plays, But I also really like Bakugo. And you may have seen my neon light of him when I stream. He can be a little controversial because not everyone. make cuts, but I really like to make cuts in videos. Personal preference. But yeah, here he is. I think I just have a thing for people with confidence. Confident attitudes. With no emotion. I can change them. I do have like a toga picture too that's over there, but I didn't want to get everything down and make an even bigger mess than I already have in here. I also really like um, an anime called Demon Slayer, which is a little bit too long to try to explain, a little too complicated. More or less, it's a guy who hunts demons. And you may have seen my Nezuko videos, which is his sister. The main character is Tanjiro, and he's my favorite. 
when I have a kid soon, I have a few kids soon masks at some point. Love it. Right here. Isn't it cute? I also really like Jujutsu Kaisen. I like Sukuna and Yuji. I want to get a print of Sukuna or Yuji for my wall too. You may have seen my Sukuna video. And we also really like haiku, which is a volleyball anime. I know this video is kind of all over the place, but I hope you guys found it relaxing. I enjoy. Let me know in the comments below what you guys enjoy, and if you liked this video and want to see me talk about more stuff I like, because I do have a lot more. I'm that saying that's like a jack of all trades, but a master of none. That's me. I have a ton of interest, but I don't know. I don't really master any of my hobbies or anything like that. But uh, I love you guys. Thank you for giving me this opportunity to make a I don't know, relaxing and calming video where I didn't put a lot of like, you know, I don't know, I guess I normally have to just get into costume and do research on a character and just delve in. And it was nice to just be myself and freeing and to talk about, I don't know, stuff that I like and enjoy and it's really fun. So, for those of you who watched Thank you. I really appreciate it. I would like to branch out into more stuff besides just cosplay. I love it, don't get me wrong. I love it, but sometimes it's nice to uh, relax and uh, be myself. Though I know I can be over the top, which might not be very relaxing. I'm trying, I promise. <laughs> Alright, can I God bless you guys? I love you. And I'll talk to you soon. I'll see you next week with a roleplay. Bye. Connor, Philip, Tom, Despigo, Morgan, TJ, Troy, Rasvin, Christia, Dennis, Connor, J. Pesca, Buddy Beck, Livid Canadian, Reviewers, Stefan, Reese, Splone, Link1259, Derek Cooksey, David the Great29, Mike B, Sunny, Ian J. Brown, Spencer Reed, Cougas, Squirt, Angry Cripple, Jackson Arnold, JD, Andrew Ball, Blair Justine, Mr. Adelon, Thomas Flanagan, Nightmare 262, SDR Knight, Biznatch 112, Greg, Crenindros, Hollow, Mr. Ox 1998, James Brasher, Paul, Light Fury, Taylor Hansen, Christoph Pabst, Rocky, Mr. McNugget, Ron Stam, Lewis, David McDowell, Nuki, David D. Edwards, Jeremy Fitzpatrick, Paramore, Is Deep Based, Nelkill, Big Alp, Just Woodsy, Spy Cam, Wolf's Rain 17, Sam Small, Dom J, Derek Jenkins, Aaron, Gavick, Justin Parmentier, Gray Warden, This Charming Mothman, Neon Gun ASMR, Zioki, Clyde Fabian, Ontarian ASMR, Falconian, Kyle Kakande, Jaffa, Eight Penguin 909, Dragon Flame, Squeeps, Ivor, Sam Bushman, Sleepy Sloth, Mr. Mayhem, Chris MC83, Bartlehawk764, Mike S, ASMR Musings, Sensei John Riviera, Apollo, Literally My Husband, Anton Blake Cox, Will Alexis, Mark M, James Budick, Dude, Johnny D. Renzo, Chuck and Plier 316, Nicola D's, Sark 237, Rick on 